Hello my lovely Crapcom, you have no right to plot this video or declare copyright claims on this. If this video disappears again without any communication, I will upload it again and again and again and I will do this over and over and over until it stays online. So have a nice day. Welcome back my Monster Hunter Wiggler. And in today's video I show you how the custom quest editor works from Monster Hunter World. But before we can start we have to check up some things. First we need to extract the game files from Monster Hunter World. If you don't have them just click on the video down below and then later come back. Then we need to download the custom quest editor from Monster Hunter World and also the preset from the native PC folder I created for this tutorial. Let us start with the custom quest editor himself. soundtrack from the editor himself. For this tutorial I choose the goggly green eyed monster quest. Now we have to find them in the editor. That's simple. Just click on file, open quest. Then the editor asks you for the output folder we created. Just select them and click OK. A little window will pop up and in this window you can choose any quest there are in the output folder. Now we search for our goggly quest, select them and click on load quest. After we load the quest we need two files. The first one is the RAM file and the second is the supply box file. The RAM file is basically for the loot after you complete the quest. And the supply box file is the file for the items that stuck in the beginning in the supply box. So we start searching, just open the quest folder and the RAM folder. Search for the file copy and paste them in the native PC folder. After this we search for our supply box file, just open the quest folder and the supply box folder. Just copy and paste them and we are good to go. Now we need to find our text file for the quest. To find them just go on the basic output folder, click on common, text and quest folder. Now we got a problem, we don't know the ID from the quest. To solve that problem is quite simple, just click on file, save quest as encrypted and the tool will create a new folder. Just open the folder and there we have the quest and also the quest ID. Now we search just simply for the right ID. Make sure you grab the right language because for every quest is a different text file. So if you have it just copy and paste them in the right folder and we can start with the editing from the quest himself. After we collect all files we needed we can close the output folder and the native PC folder for the moment and start up with the editing from the quest himself. So on the first page called common we can define our stats from the quest. For the first we start with the zeni that we get after completing the quest or the zeni we lost if we die and right next to them you can change the hunter rank points after completing the quest. 
Now we can define our camp types and our spawn location. For the spawn location you can choose if you want spawn in the camp himself or want randomly dropped on the map. After this you can set up the start time for your quest. Down below you can set up the hunter rank that's needed for the quest and the quest level himself. I'm often pushed this level to 9 or 10 star quest because that's easier for the user to find the quest on the quest board. In the icon section you can select your monster icon or different other icons that's shown up on the quest board or in the quest info. Now we can go on the second page, the monster setup. Here you can add or delete monsters from the quest, define the health, the attack, the size from the monster, or its temperature or not. Important here to say is on the bottom you find the predators, I would call it. That's the monsters that are randomly spawned in the quest, in the most cases the Joe Piglemon or the B52 Bomber. So if you don't like them, just set them to none and you are fine. If you want to change this first settings, the health, the attack or the size, make sure you um, make little steps. Because uh, the small changes on these values have often a huge effect on the quest or the monster himself. For example, the health, if you set up it over 100, you have to fight nearly a half hour or 50 minutes to kill this monster. So make sure you test your quest before you share it with your friends or the community. For the size value, you can go between 15 and 400. Otherwise, the game aren't able to spawn the monster or the monster is so big that will crash the game if you spawn or come close to them. On the right hand side you find the defense settings from the monster. There you can change the value between 1 or 20. For example for the defense, the knockout resistance, the paralyzed, the stagger, for the immunity or the size value or the size modifier himself. For the small monsters on the map you can change the damage
will save it in the quest folder. So now we can use the tools that come with this tool. First of all, the RAM file editor. Basically, you can set up there everything you want to get as reward after finishing the quest. It's quite simple, just open the file, set up the items and save it. The next lovely tool that we got is the supply box editor. Here you can set up the items for the supply box. The items themselves, like potions or something, is on the left hand side and the uh, ammo or the coating for the bow is on the right hand side. Just set up everything, save it and we're done. Last but not least, the text editor tool. With this tool you can set up each text from the mission himself that's shown up on the quest board. For example, the name from the quest, what you have to hunt, the info box, the conditions for fainting the quest or the small monster that shown up on the quest. Just rename everything, save and we are done. So now we are finished. Now we have just to wrap everything up put it in the native PC folder and copy and paste the native PC folder in our main route for Monster Hunter World. If you have any questions just leave a comment down below, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and until then keep on wiggling, see you next time your 6m66.